this video I'm going to show you two different ways of adding patterns or pictures onto your circular knitting machine designs. I just created a small panel on my knitting machine using 10 stitches. I've knitted several rows before starting the heart shaped pattern. I'm starting my first row from the right going left and the first bit will be for me to stitch four stitches in the blue. As I come to the end of the four stitches, um, I have to be careful to make sure that the stitches are all caught underneath the needles and they cannot slip out whilst I'm changing the thread. When adding the new colour, I tie the new yarn around itself and do a slip knot onto the old thread. I then use this slip knot to slip it up as tight as possible into the bottom of the previous stitch and then I do another slip knot just to keep it into place before carrying on with my stitching. I then chop off the um, tail of the old yarn and continue working with the new yarn. Using the new thread I hook it under the next needle and make sure that it is pulled taut so that there are no gaps in the work. I then slowly feed the yarn underneath each hook as many stitches as I need to. Uh, this can be a little bit slow and tedious but it is still quicker than knitting by hand um, especially when you get to the um, single colour parts. I continue following the first line of my pattern and I alternate between the two colours until I get to the end of the row. In hindsight I should probably have used more than 10 stitches as using so few stitches has meant that my heart is right on the edge of my work. Um, I should have probably gone with something like 15-16 to allow for um, some stitches either side of the heart. As you can see it is a little bit fiddly to keep changing out the two colours but you will end up with a nice secure piece of work at the end of this. I've just created this little sample piece as an example but um, you could also use this technique to create much more complex designs. You want to take care with your tension at the end of each row and make sure that as you come back on yourself you are hooking the yarn around the hook and back onto itself to avoid dropping any stitches. Continue in this manner for each row until you get to the end of your pattern. Once I finished knitting the pattern I just then knitted another few rows of plain colour just so that I've got some excess below and above it so you can see the pattern more clearly. I've removed the work from the machine so that you can see the finished picture. In this second method I'm just going to create some small stitches above the heart just to show you how you can create um, pictures in your work using yarn after you have finished knitting it on the machine. Using your contrasting thread, start at the base of a stitch and follow the pa path of that stitch around with your contrasting colour. So you start at the bottom, you come up, you go under and across to the left and then you go back down next to the original stitch to create a little loop and that follows the original knitted stitch. When stitching these you want to take care that the new yarn is being placed over the top of the original stitch so be careful with your placement you may need to manipulate the stitch as you are creating it to ensure that it sits in the right place. I've just created some contrast in single stitches um, in a fair isle style and I just used one single piece of yarn to do this and I just carried the thread across the back um, as you would do in fair isle knitting. As you can see even though these stitches have been created over the old yarn you can't really see it as they were both the same thickness thread um, so they do sit over it quite nicely. Both methods create a nice picture but I think that the second method is my preferred as it is a bit quicker and less fiddly to do. With the first method you will have a lot of loose threads along the back as you can see whereas with the second piece you have um, one continuous 
thread or perhaps just a couple going across so it's much less bulky. If you're going to be doubling it over it doesn't really matter but if that is a consideration then I would go with method two. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and follow my page to keep up to date with new videos. Thanks for watching.